Well, in the previous video when we were looking at bunions, we were thinking that, well, maybe it's the medial border along the arch of your foot. These three joints, the talonavicular joint, navicular cuneiform, and the cuneiform metatarsal joints, these three aren't opening up the way they should when the foot lands on the ground, making the big toe have to move even more to make up for it, creating that bunion. That's one way of thinking of it. But there's other ways that we can consider it. For instance, the big toe rotating in that direction could be making up for somewhere else in the body unable to rotate in that direction. Not just these joints here opening up and trying to rotate the front portion of the foot along with the toe. What if those opened up? Well, let's go up the chain. There's this talus bone that sits on your heel. Maybe it struggles to externally rotate. Maybe instead of the talus rotating, the big toe makes up for it. But then we can go up the chain to maybe the knee. Do you have restriction in knee rotation? There shouldn't be a lot, but there should be some. If your knee has a hard time rotating that tibia outward, could it be that the big toe is trying to make up for it? What about the femur, the thigh bone? Do you have a hard time rotating in that direction? It could be the pelvis. It could be any other place in your body unable to create that rotation. And the brain just keeps kicking the problem down, down, down until it finally gets to the end of the body, which is the big toe. And the big toe can't push the problem onto anybody else, so it makes up for it. The point is, we're trying to find the underlying reason as to why these things occur. We don't want to know just what is happening, we want to know why. And once we understand the why, maybe we can create a better strategy of dealing with the issue at hand. This is just a symptom. This toe going in that direction didn't wake up one morning and decide to create a practical joke on you. It doesn't work that way. There is a strategy and an underlying reason why it's occurring.